Welcome to Regimental Chess, where armies of chess pieces maneuver and capture in large formations. The game can be played on one, two, three, four, five, or six boards at once on the online version. Up to 12 armies in a massive battle with up to 372 pieces, multiple kings, and giant formations. To learn the rules, it's best to start with a game on a single board. Regimental Chess takes the original movements of chess pieces and logically extends them to formations. Multiple pieces can move together if they are either touching each other or mutually supportive. They must move in exactly the same direction in exactly the same number of spaces, as if they were cemented together. Ranks can be broken up and reformed from turn to turn. It's as easy as right-clicking your selection and dragging. A formation can consist of some pieces that are touching and some that are mutually supportive. Touching means simply that they are on adjacent squares, even if they don't cover each other. Mutually supportive means that if one piece is captured, the other can avenge it. Different kinds of pieces can move together if they are compatible. The infantry is an exception because they don't move exactly like pawns. Infantrymen can move or capture one space forward, either straight or diagonally. Once a single infantryman reaches the back row, that infantryman and every other piece in the formation can then move and capture one space in any direction. Formations can become more and more complex. Here, the infantrymen, bishops, queens, and king are moving together in the one move they all have in common, one space diagonally forward. Substitute in rooks, and now they can move together one space straight forward. Horses, or knights, are compatible with no other pieces, and can only move in formation with other knights. They can move together if they are either mutually supportive or on adjacent squares. Knight formations move in two ways. One way is that they all move in exactly the same direction in number of spaces. If you press the shift button when selecting your pieces, they can move in the other way. Namely, one moves forward and the others follow the footsteps. Basically, one moves to a new position and then each horse occupies the space left by the horse before it. Capturing takes two forms. Simplest is the broadsides, where several pieces moving in unison take out an opposing piece in their path and then stops on that square. The second way is piercing inferior ranks with superior firepower. Here, a column of pieces, one behind the other, attacks pieces they outrank. Each attacking piece that outranks an opponent can move past and over that opponent to occupy the next square or capture another piece behind, provided that it is followed. This can continue as far as each attacking opponent outranks the opponent it faces. As soon as they don't outrank it, they can capture, but they must stop there. Infantry is again the exception. Because there are so many of them, only one infantryman can make a capture in any given turn. It's best to aim at breaking your enemy's formation in half and advance into their backfield so that you can attack his more valuable pieces. Put your formation in the wrong place, however, and it gets wiped out in one move. Here's an example of one infantryman capturing in unison with other pieces. The other infantryman must stay behind. Regimental chess is a game of attrition, with captures made in nearly every turn. As you can see, the number of pieces in each formation, as well as their position in each formation, and the place of the formation on the board, is critical to the game. And of course, capturing becomes more interesting and far more complex when the game is played on multiple boards. Here, black launches a mass assault against the center, with bishops from two divisions on the right, two divisions on the left, and a single formation of rooks and queens from five divisions down the middle. Here is a demonstration of a game played on six boards, where each side has six kings in six armies, or divisions. During one turn, each division commands a move, and it's all about how and where to attack. Pieces from multiple divisions can join together into massive formations and attack as one unit under the command of just one of the armies. During a player's turn, each army commands a move. As such, one piece from each division must be moved, but pieces from other armies can move in the same formation. On a game with any amount of boards, the very first move is strictly limited to the first eight rows, and nobody can move past that line. Now it's Black's turn. Rooks and queens from the green division shift toward the center, along with those from the blue, then the orange divisions, forming a 30-piece fighting unit of rooks and queens. Then, under yellow's command, infantrymen and bishops on the right flank march forward. The purple rooks and queens reposition. 
Under Red's command, bishops and infantry on the left flank move forward. It's White's turn, and it launches a preemptive strike. A formation of Queens and bishops from the Green Division attack. Then comes an assault from Queens and bishops from the Blue Division. Then Queens and bishops from the Purple and Orange Divisions charge forward. On the left flank, bishops from the Yellow Division charge. Then, under the Red command, eight rooks charge forth. Note how their formation is still linked at the end of the move. Black's turn, and it closes ranks, broadsiding four queens and a bishop. Five queens charge forward and check the green king. Two moves down. Under Red's command, purple bishops and infantrymen effect a mass capture on the right flank, leaving the purple horses with a move of their own to protect the king. Orange and yellow bishops attack under yellow's command. On the left flank, the knights maneuver to protect their kings under green's command. White's turn and the purple queens break formation to double check one king. The orange bishop queen formation takes out a horse and checks the blue king. Under purple's command, the rooks sweep right and broadside two queens, rescuing the green king. Under green's command, three bishops broadside rooks and a queen. Red rooks pierce inferior ranks and check the orange king. Yellow rooks check the other king. Black defends. A purple knight takes out a rook. The orange king flees from danger. Yellow commands a charge of eight bishops against a king. Check. The three attacking queens take out two rooks and check another king. Knights take out the threatening bishop and a queen. Notice that white's two purple queens have black's red king pinned. So black threatens white's purple king. If white uses the purple move to capture the opposing king, it will lose its own. White's orange division presses against two kings now. Check. With another king in potential check down the line. Purple uses its move to take out the king. In the center, the green king takes a queen, leaving a threat from two red queens, but their king has just been captured. The blue knights take out two more bishops. Red rooks press against one king and the yellow rook presses against another king. Check and check. Because the red king has been captured, his entire division is removed from the board, including those two queens. This leaves black with only five armies, and now black can only command five moves against white's six. Black counters by taking out that purple king. Its unit of rooks and queens moves forward in the center, taking out bishops. On the right flank, the purple king makes an evasive move, as does the orange king. The bishops close in on a king. Check. White's entire purple division is now removed from the board and the numbers are evened. But only briefly, for now white takes out another black king. Its rooks charge forth under green's command. Two blue horses continue to defend their king. On the left flank, the yellow rook moves in formation with two red rooks, sweeping them in one direction and threatening one king. The two remaining rooks then move in formation in the other direction and check the other king. Black has lost his second king and thus loses another army. Now it has only four moves to make against white's five. The rest of the game will leave to your imagination. It's a game of tactics and strategy, and most certainly is a game of attrition. Regimental chess, for the brutal intellect.